The Reflected Best Self Exercise, or RBSE, has shown that receiving affirmation in stories of our best selves helps us grow. RBSE brings significant benefits in fostering positive emotions and healthy relationships. However, the challenge to activate our best selves each day is still imminent. How can we find opportunities to develop ourselves and step into our top form each day? These five practices help us capitalize on everyday opportunities for personal growth. 1. Notice positive feedback. How do you receive compliments and feedback? Do you feel uncomfortably immodest to lean into positive affirmation, but find yourself threatened by critical feedback? Negative comments can leave us jarred and emotional eliciting a more memorable experience. In contrast, moments of positivity take much practice to savor and remember. Thus, it is important to intentionally create a physical or digital space to save any positive feedback received. This space lets us delight in it when we can and when we want to. Save that thank you note or positive comments from an evaluation so you can review and revisit it regularly. 2. Ask questions. Understanding positive feedback is essential in nurturing our best attributes. Whenever you get positive feedback, inquire into it to better comprehend how you were able to make an impact. This is a powerful opportunity to learn and express gratitude. Specific stories and situations unravel actionable praises to identify strengths and conditions for application. Take the initiative to set up a meeting with a mentor or superior to discuss more of your strengths. Make sure to keep the discussion concentrated on positive feedback so you can focus on developing and leveraging it for a more significant impact. 3. Study your successes. Learning from one's successes also requires a thorough evaluation by reviewing the tape, an expression often used by sports teams. A detailed comprehension of our work allows us to identify benchmarks and best practices for future undertakings. Looking back at the tape helps us make better future plays. A powerful technique for this would be journaling. Putting experiences into words requires reflection that stimulates insights and helps us unleash our best selves. 4. Practice enacting your best self. As we cultivate a more cohesive understanding of the positive feedback given to us through intentional acknowledgement, questioning, and review, it is crucial to put them into practice. Create space in your work to bring your best self forward every day. Find roles and outlets to draw from your strengths and serve impactfully. We tend to feel most valuable at work when we can see our impact on others. On receiving negative criticism, take hold of your space of positive feedback and remind yourself of how you create value for others. It helps you reduce your defensiveness and provides you the assurance to stay calm and listen. It enables self-confidence to rise to the challenge of absorbing wisdom in the negative feedback and progressing forward. 5. Pay it forward. Another way to focus on our best selves is to share affirmative feedback with others intentionally. When a project enters its closing phase, take the time to share positive commendations with your teams. Share specific details on how they meaningfully contributed to the project's success. This invokes a culture of positivity that aids the entire team in bringing their best selves forward too. These practices to achieve best self-development begin at a personal level and overflow into others. The more we can recognize and captivate positive feedback, the more we can share this with others. Embracing our best selves is a journey of transformation that impacts our lives, relationships, and organizations. How will you embed these practices to facilitate organizational transformation?